What is up guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to this episode where I'm going to show you the 7 Golem attack. If we first look at composition here, you will need to build yourself 6 Golems and 15 Wizards, so quite easy to remember. For your spells, you will need 4 Jump Spells and a Rage Spell. I would then take a Poison Spell, however if this is a clean up attack and you know that there are high hit point troops within the clan castle, I would consider taking a Haste Spell. Your 7th Golem is then going to come from the clan castle, where you also want to request a Wizard and either a Barbarian or Archer to make up the final troop. So that's your troop composition guys, let's now show you a good base layout to attack and then an attack replay itself. So these tricky to attack bases that try and send your troops around the town hall so you don't get it are the perfect base for the seven golem attack. And the reason for that is it has large compartments that the golems can walk through and the wizards behind them can almost sweep through the base as the golems are tanking for them. So any base that has large compartments where the golems can move through is a good base for this. Lots of little compartments and these quite compact bases are going to be quite difficult to get the seven golem attack to work. So that's the type of base you want to be looking for. You will see that I've had going in the background in slow motion the placement of the jump spells and also the deployment of the golems because that's very important. And the idea is that you split your golems into three groups. So you will see that I have two on the left, two on the right, I have two in the middle which is then reinforced with the clan castle golem. And you want to make sure that you have the jump spells spread out so that they cover a wide enough space so that you can almost sweep from one side to the other side of the base using the wizards to provide damage behind your golems. You're then going to place your king and queen in the centre to make a push for the core and take out the town hall. I'll now break this down into a few simple steps that you can follow. Okay, so step one is your jump spells to provide access to the base. You'll also be using the fourth jump spell a little later to get into the core. Step two is deploying your golems. You want to spread them out to set off traps. Step three is following behind your golems with a large line of wizards. These should be spaced out to approximately one wizard per building. You can also curl them around the side, which you can see I have one wizard on each side. It's also a good idea to save a couple so you can deploy them later wherever you need reinforcement. Step 4 is deploying your heroes. You're always going to deploy these centrally and it's a good idea to use where you dropped your clan castle as a marker to put your heroes in. And step 5 is using your remaining spells. By this point you should have already used your fourth jump spell to provide access into the core so your troops don't start walking around. Now taking a step back, check out the single wizards I put in at either side just sneaking down the side there and check out that guy behind the wall. He did not want his brother on top of that tower to see him. But the way this attack works with the golems in the middle there tanking, them two wizards have gone down and wiped out either side of the base. Okay, so we sidetracked a little bit, and I will show you another replay, but your other spells are your poison spell, which you will use for the clan castle troops. Now deployment of this will depend on where you attack from and where the clan castle is situated, because this will obviously determine when you get in a confrontation with them. If this is a clean up attack and you decide to go with a haste spell, you want to follow the same principles as deployment of your rage spell, and that is you want to take down the castle troops and the infernos, so I tend to use it as you're approaching the core. Finishing up, we ended with a very comfortable 2 star against that Town Hall 10. So guys, you can use this as a 2 star strategy if that's what your aim is, but this is also a viable 3 star attack strategy. Now whilst your hero level might determine your chance of success, that will also come down to the level of the base that you're attacking. So you'll see this base is under leveled so I have a better chance of the 3 star and the first thing I need to do is work out where to attack from. So on this base I have to make note of the clan castle trigger radius and this is because I've decided to attack from the bottom right side. 
My reasoning for that is that my jump spell will go across both of them walls to provide access. The cannon is also placed centrally within that compartment, meaning that my golems aren't going to walk off to the side, they should stay centralised and have a better chance of going into the core. You'll notice that I attacked from the right side first so as to not trigger the clan castle as quick and you'll see the golems at the bottom there set off a couple of traps and that is exactly why you want to space them out. So there are some high hit point troops in the clan castle on this raid. I could have used the haste spell if I had known that but I'm going to put the poison spell in anyway just to start taking them out. You'll notice I put the fourth jump spell in there to provide access to the core and the heroes are starting to use this to jump in. And you can see just now why the seven golem attack works. There's golems in the middle providing cover for the heroes, but I've also got some on either side with the wizards behind. And if we take a look here, you'll see that we are just sweeping this base in one straight line. Literally, all of the defences are firing at golems right now. My other troops are free behind them and just cleaning up this base. And that right there is why the seven golem attack is so effective guys. If you've got a base where they are not going to get stuck on walls, they can literally just walk through the base and provide cover for everything. The only other thing you need to worry about is your hero's special abilities. If you're pushing for the three star, try and save these until later on, because if your golems are wearing a bit thin, you may need to use them to get through the defences. If not, Try not to be too impatient with them guys, try to wait for the most optimal time to use them because they can be the defining factor for your raid. And that concludes this quick guide for the 7 golem attack. I hope that was helpful for you guys, please leave a like if it was. Also drop a comment if you've used this attack and if you've got any additional tips or pointers that I might not have covered. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest Clash content and attack strategies. There's a link on the screen right now. This has been your host, Judo Sloth. Until next time, peace out. Yeah.